Welcome to the instructional video on the Handbook on Injectable Drugs, or most commonly known as Trissel's, of course, after the main editor, Lawrence A. Trissel. A couple things to know about this book. First of all, there are actually other books that are not only by Trissel, but are actually called Trissel's officially in the title. What that means is, is that if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, and for example, you go to the library and you ask them for, to look up Trissel's in the uh, book catalog, there's a very good chance you might actually get a completely different book, which is actually um, a book about compounding that Trissel's have done. Uh, make sure that you're getting the book you actually want. Make sure that you're getting Handbook on Injectable Drugs. So. Make sure you know what you're asking for, particularly at the library, because they may not know uh, what Trissel's is if you ask for it by that name. The other thing to know is that, of course, this is a book about um, interactions and compatibilities just within injectable drugs. So the thing is, is that do not get these particular um, incompatibilities and compatibilities com confused with drug-drug interactions or even other drug-food, drug-OTC interactions. This is all about the compatibility and solution of very of drugs and either other solutions or other drugs. So you'll see as we go along, but make sure that, you know, when someone is asking you for, you know, does is such and such stable or is there an interaction between such and such, make sure that you know what you're looking at, that you're not looking in the wrong place for the wrong kind of information. Now it's set up alphabetically by generic name and you can look for, you know, whatever whatever drug you're looking for is going to have some kind of monograph if there's information about it. Now, not everything is going to be in here, but if there's some information you know, leading to an understanding of, of why things work the way they do, they're going to be in here. Most of them will start with some sort of short monograph like this. And this is actually one of the things that most people don't know about Trissels, even people who, who use it um, to look up interactions don't know about these nice little monographs. And they could be much longer than this, but they're going to give you useful information. So everything from basic information about the product, it's going to give you pH, it's going to give you names, it's going to give you all kinds of other information. Nice stuff, things like stability, um, it's going to tell you whether or not it's light or dark sensitive. Do you need to keep it refrigerated? Is it okay at, at room temperature once it's in you know, solution? Um, if it's in like a powdered form, how does it need to be stored? Does it leach plastic? There are some chemicals and drugs out there that you cannot put in certain types of, you know, if it can be put in PVC, you know, is it going to leach some sort of nasty plastic that's going to become toxic? All that kind of information is in the is in the um, opening monograph of each of these sections before the actual tables that tell you incompatibility. So make sure you know about those. They're terribly useful. The actual compatibility information, though, looks something like this. So you're going to have solution compatibility if it's available, so just basic sort of, you know, dextrose solutions, things like that. And, you know, certain information, remarks, and of course the thing at the, that's most important is the C or I at the far right side. Of course, C means compatible, I means incompatible. Um, if there's any kind of question, if there's any kind of, you know, ambiguity about this, usually it's best to assume that it is incompatible, and that's usually the, the stance that this may take. Um, it depends a little bit, but at some point it does become up to you to make some sort of a clinical judgment, but it's not always cut and dry, but usually you're going to see a nice C or an I. It's going to have a variety of different things, though. You're going to have a section on y site injection compatibility. You're going to have different sections depending on the type of injectable that you're getting into here. There are also some appendix, appendices in the back. Uh, the first appendix is uh, parental nutrition formulas. Just a nice thing to know that it's here if you need to look this kind of information up. Um, it's a nice reference. And you'll also note that within the monographs, the references, it's a little strange, they're just numbered, and so you can find the key to all the numbered references at the back. So within a given monograph, if they, you know, say that something is incompatible and that a salt was formed within eight hours or such and such, and they give you a reference number, this is what they're doing. They're just giving you this, this um, sequentially numbered list at the back. You can find the actual primary literature of the study that whatever, um, whatever determination they made based on this, you can actually go to the original information if you need to look further. Um, of course, Trissels is part of uh, a couple of the major drug information online resources, which you'll probably use, but it's a good idea to learn how to use this book. Um, it's useful not just for the the incompatibility charts, but also for the monographs at the beginning, and it's just a good idea to be able to learn how to use this in print format. If you have any questions about it, make sure to ask a librarian or ask one of your pharmacy professors, and thanks for watching.